Hi, this is Ali, and in this video, I'll introduce you to meta language creation pattern, a prompt engineering technique or prompt pattern to assign custom identifiers for almost anything and then reusing them in later prompts to LLM. The evolution of human language has been to symbolize things around us using words, letters, or hieroglyphs. For example, that active, elegant, fast running animal with a long mouth and muscular, agile body you can ride on can simply be described as horse. And that huge wooden or steel thing that floats on water can simply be described as ship. And the process of obtaining stuff you need by ship by exchanging for let's say 10,000 horses is called trade. Humans have since long been giving names to both nouns and verbs and then symbolizing them using words, letters, and numbers. The idea just doesn't stop at nouns and verbs we have names for entire processes or sequence of steps or actions, like you must have heard of Pythagoras theorem. It is a way of calculation involving multiple steps, but just using these two words in an instruction like, please calculate length of staircase leading to a window in my house, you immediately know what I am talking about and be able to perform that action. Just pause, think of the entire instruction for a second and admire the beauty of natural language in conveying such complicated sequence of tasks in just a few words. Large language models like ChatGPT are trained to understand instructions and commands in natural language. While languages like English have a ton of vocabulary to codify things around us, there is no shortage of new, or may I say, custom requirements that keep coming up. Taking a simpler example for now, let's say you want to reuse the phrase, my favorite movies, in your conversation with ChatGPT, which has no clue of your taste or interest in movies. Rather than telling it repeatedly again and again, you can say that from now on, whenever I use the phrase my favorite movies, I mean the following eight movies, followed by name of your favorite eight movies in the prompt. That's it. Congratulations. You just learned the pattern called meta language creation. Many concerts, problems, structures, or ideas communicated in a prompt may be more concisely, unambiguously, or clearly expressed in a language other than natural language being used to interact with large language model. Whenever you want to use custom vocabulary in a prompt, be it noun, verb, shorthand for some list or process, or sequence of steps, instructions, or whatnot, you would use this pattern to convey the semantics of your alternate language to the large language model so you can keep writing future prompts using the new language and semantics. Once the idea is conveyed, ChatGPT will keep it in its context memory and understand it when you reuse. You must take note of the word unambiguously since that is where things go wrong. We'll come to it in a second, but first let's take a look at the key idea. Very simply put, the key idea of this pattern can be summed up in contextual statement. When I say X, I mean why, or would like you to do why. The key structure of pattern involves explaining the meaning of one or more symbols, words, or statements to large language model. So far, we have restricted ourselves to examples where we describe things or processes in a concise, shortened way to large language model. The process part can be a little confusing to understand, so let's explain using an example. So let's say you are a story writer. You can come up with a meta language for a process of writing stories for ChatGPT and give it a name. That would involve ChatGPT asking user, that is yourself, for a subject of the story and then generating a story around that subject. The story should have multiple chapters, maximum four of maximum 300 works each. You name that process Gen Story Process 1. So you can tell ChatGPT that whenever I ask you to perform Gen Story Process 1, you need to execute the process above. This is another way of meta language creation. There is much potential for confusion in this pattern. You must be very careful not to cause unnecessary side effects by overriding original training of the model. As an example, say you change the name of the story generation process you invented from Gen Story Process 1 to Panda. Now, any discussion you try to have or generative AI revolving around the animal Panda would be a great cause of confusion for 
the large language model. Be careful to use non-ambiguous terms that are scoped properly and not override any meaning in natural language. Lastly, do scope your meta language whether it is applicable to current session only or should ChatGPT or large language model retain it for other sessions. I hope my description of the meta language creation pattern made sense to you and you would be able to use it with ease in your daily life now. If that helped, please like the video and subscribe for upcoming videos in the series and otherwise on this channel. Thank you and goodbye.